turnout for today's mayoral contest is expected to be heavy. The same-sex wedding ceremony yesterday in Angel Square featuring candidate Dorian Lord and her fiancé, Amelia Bennett, will no doubt influence voters. Sorry. No, it's so cool you guys get to vote. Are you kidding? I'm so glad that I can't vote. With both of my aunts running against each other, I can't win. Well, I would vote for my mother. You are voting for Dorian, right? Given the similarity of their platform, the candidates' personal histories are certain to be a factor in the minds of many voters. Look, Mrs. Banks took me in when my parents threw me out. So you would vote for her over my mother? No, I'm just saying that's a really big deal. I mean, she's a good person. No. no. <laughs> oh, boys. Oh, it's so good to see you here. My, my, my. You showed up yesterday for my wedding ceremony, and here you are waiting on line. Get, you're fantastic. Come on. <laughs> hey, hey, oh, yeah. hey. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they are fantastic. Hi, girls. So, in, uh, t uh, tell me, uh, how is the uh, wedding playing out with the Internet generation? It, well, there, there's been you know, a lot of a lot of talk. Good, positive. It, it, it's sort of mixed. <laughs> as long as they're talking. Aunt Dorian, I know I gave you a really hard time about coming to your wedding, but I have to say that it was a beautiful ceremony, and I am really glad that I went. I'm glad you were there. And if I didn't know any better, I would think you guys were a real couple. enough to get her elected yeah I know yesterday wasn't exactly what you expected no, I'm, I'm okay and maybe Kyle just wasn't ready to get married you think anyway you should be proud of what we accomplished there were a lot of couples pledging their love to one another yeah that's great events have pulled Victoria Banks off the campaign trail. Will it affect support for her today? Hello, Marty. <laughs> I don't <laughs> need a sidekick to guess who you voted for, given your history and the fact that you stole Blair's husband. You know, isn't a Kennedy supposed to be nice on election day? I'm being nice. And when I'm elected, my door is always going to be open to my supporters. Excuse me. Noel and Mo, glad to see you out casting your vote. I wonder where my uh, campaign manager is. <laughs> you mean your wife? Uh, I think she's up there. You're right. Thank you. Uh, who'd you vote for? Uh-uh, not until you vote. Oh, shoot, Mo, I don't know what to do. I mean, Vicky's one of my best friends, but... When we lived at Dorian's house for all those months, I've worn the woman's clothes, for heaven's sake. Just do what you always do. Trust your heart. Marco, how could you not vote for Dorian? She's my mother. And you said that you support their platform. I mean, you came to the wedding. It yeah, doesn't... Poppy, hey, Ma, we saw you on television yesterday. A Dorian invited all of us to her wedding, so... And since we support what she was doing, we all Don't showed make up. it worse. Like... I'm surprised you watched the ceremony, puppy. What choice did I have? It was on every channel. I just don't understand why these people had to flaunt their behavior. These people? Dorian. Aurelia. Mr. and Mrs. Rivera. I'm proud to present my partner. Amelia Bennett. Hola. I'm not... The factor in this race could be those passionate newcomers, the first-time voters. Hey, John, it's Marty. I miss you. Um, okay, call me when you get back. You won't believe what's going on in Angel Square. So, Dorian, you and Amelia are Mrs. and Mrs. Uh, Amelia is my partner. We did have a commitment ceremony yesterday, but it was more symbolic. 
Um, it's not legal, oh, actually. But it, it will be when Dorian wins the election. Her first act as mayor will be to legalize yesterday's marriages. Let's go vote, Aurelia. Amelia, would you please excuse us? Uh, thank you. Marco, I know you love your parents. He hasn't... he hasn't voted yet, so... Yes, indeed. And although I know they have their idiosyncratic predispositions, it's clear that they have raised a son who can think for himself. Bravo. That's me. Independent. Some voters are still undecided, but time is running out. They're going to have to make a choice. Are we up in the exit polls? It's too early to tell. Well, what do you think? I don't want to lose everything I care about today. Nick. So, who'd you vote for? Oh, Noel, excuse me a moment. I forgot to ask you. Mo, I hope I can count on you to cook for the victory party. I guess I will, one way or the other. What do you mean? Well, Vicky already asked me to cook for her if she wins, so... Either way. Oh. Well, hold on. You'd break up with me if I voted for Mrs. Banks? So you're voting for her? That's not what I said. I'm just asking if you would respect me enough to let me make my own decisions. And, and before you answer that, remember, this is the guy that moved out of his parents' house when they tried to stop him from seeing you. So, yeah. I, I would never pressure you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. Never. Okay, you know, fine. You can vote for whoever you want, okay? As long as it's for my mother. Good luck with that one. The media love exit polls and projections. Only the voter knows what really goes on in the booth. Hey, how's Hope? She is down for her morning nap. I uh, saw you talking to Skyler. Yeah, I was talking to him. But you're okay with it, right? It was like a lifetime ago. Yeah, no. It's always been you, and it always will be. I know, but I, I, I don't mind hearing it. Voting is a right and a privilege, and young people today are taking this responsibility very seriously. Natalie, sweetheart, when you get this message, you have to call me, darling. It's important. Please, please call me. We should go home. Vicky, Vicky. Clint is manning the phones. John is on the case right now. Here is where you should be. Mrs. Banks. Yes. Exit polls have you and Dr. Lord neck and neck. Uh, yes, so I've heard. Anything you'd like to say to your supporters? Yes, I would like to thank everyone who came out and voted today. Absolutely everyone. And in particular, I would like to thank my husband, Charlie Banks, who has been beside me every step of the way. And I would like to thank my entire family, and most especially, my new partner and campaign manager, Amelia Bennett. Vicki, hmm? may the best person win. We'll vote. Grab a